But what a lot of people don't realise it can do is round down to the nearest, say, 100 or 1,000 or, or anything else because you're allowed to put negative numbers into the rounding function. So, for example, a typical round you might say is, I want to round this to no decimal places, so zero decimal places. And there you go, you can see that it's essentially knocked the decimal places off. But if I put um, minus 2, for example, minus 2, it actually rounds the nearest 100. So what's that all about? Well, I always think of it as kind of like the position of the decimal place. So minus 2 means two, you move your decimal place like two places to the left, essentially. Plus 2 would obviously give me two places to the right. And you can see that. But minus 2, uh, two places to the left. And 3 would be round to the nearest 1,000. The other thing that again people don't necessarily realize that you can do is you can start rounding to like say the nearest 50 because right? this is to the nearest 100 but if I with a small addition here if I times the number by 2 before I round it like that so I've essentially doubled it and rounded it then divide the whole answer back by 2 I've essentially done a kind of rounding to the nearest 50